Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to today's video where we're gonna talk about how to do a functional monthly plan with me using sticky notes. So excited, or really how to rather how to keep track of things using your planner monthly. And it is something that I think is a super important topic because it's something that I feel like people, you don't really quite understand the monthlies and I am one of them that took a long time for this. So if you are new here, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything else. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for your support. I am so glad you are here with me today. So today I am using, if I can find the right month, it's not July, it's August, it's tomorrow actually. Whew. I am using the, um, what's her name, Amy Tangerine, Amy Tangerine Planner. And what I have to say, I'm going to pull these pages out. I am pretty much a colorful girl. I love colors in life in general. But I can understand why some people would like neutral planners because you are definitely more versatile if you're trying to, you know, not do as much color, not do as much stuff that it would be a little bit easier to, you know, have a, a non-colorful planner. But okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is add a little decoration, which I'm going to use this. Uh, Amy Tangerine. This was for part of the Be Happy box. Again, a lot of people didn't like this Be Happy box because of all the colors. I'm a very colorful person, so I was drawn to like it. However, not everyone is that person. So, and I'm just adding a little bit of color at the bottom because... I um, like the colors. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beaut. Beaut, beaut, beautiful. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is take my, and I'm kind of sticking with a theme, my Live Creatively sticker book, which I just did with my latest plan with me. And I'm going to open that up and I'm going to add a few, a sticker at the, hmm, I'm looking for a sticker that I already know is in here, but I can't seem to find. just to add a little bit of color off to the side since we're going with the color theme right now. Okay, so just something as simple as adding one sticker here and a little bit of washi in the margins that you're not gonna use anyway can really, really brighten up, sorry microphone, can really brighten up the uh, spread. And, and it leaves it like super functional and super fun. Another great way, this um, this sticker book, which is the Live Creatively sticker book, and I got the accessory pack, I got it at Michael's, it comes with these little, some of them you can write on, other ones you can't, they're like little, just like, looks like almost like little paint brushes, like paint brush marks. And what I am doing is just taking them and throwing them across, you know, various areas of the spread, trying to get all that situated and done. Um, just to add a little color. These are the ones you can write on. They have others that you don't have to write on, which I'm going to mix, mix it up and add a few of those too. I'm not doing any specific colorful. I'm just pulling stickers off and throwing them down. I'm not paying attention to the colors necessarily. And I, I like to do that just because I feel like sometimes it looks better when you're just kind of letting things flow together, especially if you're doing like rainbow, multiple colors than if you try to be too specific because it just never ends up working. <sighs> okay, then we're going to talk about sticky notes, baby. So here we have 
look how fun that is so fun okay so here we have just a nice little colorful there's like I said nothing just there's colors everywhere and it looks fun and cute and it's enjoyable but it's not overwhelming and there's still plenty of room to write and function your week and months and days so I believe in my heart one of the best things you can do is sticky note days you know you have things prior to necessarily committing to the day. So I'm going to use these little Choose Joy Every Day sticky notes that came in the Live Creatively. And a lot of people will ask, like, what do you really use these sticky notes for? Because other than decoration, they're kind of purpose. I mean, you can write on them, and I will write on this one. But they're not your traditional sticky notes. They're generally very small. Sometimes it doesn't really help to, like, understand what exactly you're using them for. So it's nice to know you know, to have no purpose that you can use them for. And what I like to do is stick a sticky note down on days I know I have specific things going on. And then, and then I'm going to be leaving there. And then kind of give myself a rough overview of what my month is going to look like. So I'll lay down all of the sticky notes. And then, like I said, I, I basically just take it and give myself an overview of like, okay, these are the things that are occurring. Actually, I need two on that day, but I really need that one, so I'll put that right there. Um, out and about. So it's just a nice way, like I said, to kind of give yourself an overview of how things are performing, what's going on, what things look like, how your month is planning out to be. And then you can make decisions on what you actually want to write down versus what you want to leave on a sticky note. So for example, let's say that sometime in the month, I live in a state that requires you to do uh, inspections on your car. Um, you get a year for your inspection and then you have to do another one to make sure that it's safe. So because of that, Sometime in the month of August, I have to inspect my car. I don't have a day that I want to do that yet. So I'm just going to put inspect car. And then I'm going to move this over here. And once I find a day that I'm going to do it, I'm going to move it over to that date and probably write it down. Same thing with a lot of these things like this. I know is not going to change, which is a board of directors meeting. So, and that is going to remain. So probably what I will do is just bite the bullet and then just write, um, you know, that one in because it's not changing. B O D. Okay. So see, I knew that that one wasn't going to change. So I didn't need to, to really even put it on sticky note, except for the fact that if it was an alternative date, then I would need to do that. I also know that I have a closing that day. However, we're real estate closing for work. However, those are subject to change. If you've ever bought or sold a house or you're in real estate, it, you just don't know. If you are in real estate, whether you're a mortgage per I just, I would love to connect with you. So tell me below if you are, if you are in real estate of any capacity um, or you want to be. If you want to be, also let me, because I will give you lots of tips and tricks. And personally, I love to guide you. In that. So anyways, mini rant. But if you know anything about real estate, you know that dates on those change. So I like to put them on a sticky note because I know that likely that will change. I also have a closing on this date and um, if I can get the sticker off sticky note. Now what I will say, I'm stealing that one. Um, I have a closing on this date, and I have one on this date. Now, what I will say is that these are not the stickiest sticky notes, so they're probably not going to necessarily stay, like, I wouldn't use them as your definitive. If you have something you cannot forget, you do not want to lose track of, you're like, oh my gosh. I'm going to lose it if I don't pay attention to this detail, whatever it might be. Don't rely on these because they can pop up and they can pull around. But this is a great way to lay out your month. What's really great about this as well is if you're planning things far in advance, 
you take a sticky note, you put it down on a date, and then that helps you to not double book. It also helps you to move things around. I have moved appointments a lot where I've used the sticky note method because they get moved around a lot. So it's a great way to kind of just write things down, plan out your month without necessarily committing to that date, having to try to cover over it and rewrite. Now, these stickers that came in the Live Creatively, one reason why I put them down, A, they're beautiful and colorful and I love them. You can write on some of them, others you can't. I mean, you could probably write on this. It's just not, yeah, okay, you really can't write on that. Um, but the reason why I think that these stickers are so great is because if you do write something along the line and it's a line item, these will cover it right up if you do have something that you need to reschedule or that change and you can still write over that event. Now, for a lot of you, this is going to be back to school month, so you're going to have like lots of school planning, shopping, uh, probably events that you have to go to for school. We are homeschooling for this upcoming year, and um, we're planning on relocating, so I want to leave them out of school until we relocate, in which case we will put them in the school that we relocate to. So that is partly why we're doing it that way, but I do not have – well, obviously one of them is only two years old, so, you know. That's not school anyways, but we are waiting on that. So a lot of, but a lot of these things that we, you know, you might have confirmation wise that are not going to change, put them to pen, don't rely on the sticky note method. The sticky note method is great for those things that you're kind of pre-planning out and that you're not sure if they're going to commit yet. So it's a great way to do that. Now, it's also a great way, sticky notes are a great way to put something on top of a day. Maybe your day is full and you can't fit anything else on the 8th. So you take a sticky note and you throw it down and, and then you still have room there. Once you kind of get a general idea of what your month is going to look like and where you have availability and maybe you have things that you don't, um, you know, don't necessarily need to do or focus on, then you can start adding other decorative stickers around. And I'm going to write down some daily goals for the month of August tomorrow. I can't even believe it. The 15th of August is my, the start of my favorite time of year. So this is like the day that the best of the year is to come, which if you know Megan at all, it is fall, Christmas, um, and that's my anniversary. So that's why we'll have been married nine years, nine years, guys. That's so long. I mean, it's really probably not, but it feels long to me, not in a bad way, but just like an accomplishment. We'll have been together 11, but married for nine. And we have about 90 left to go. So, you know, that'll be awesome. Um, but I love this. And since we know that this day's already passed, I love that. That's cute. Look at that. Love it. Love, love, love. Isn't that, that reminds me of a song of some kind of, and um, then there's a day that we are going to be leaving town that I want to remember too, but nothing major. So like I said, this is a great way to start, get yourself lined up. So now that I have my kind of prep planned, I will start adding to the month as I need to. If those sticky notes are too small for you or you like bigger sticky notes to write, you know, I think it's always a good idea to have a small pack of sticky notes in your planner at all times. If you don't have them that you carry around with you, then carry one of these little books around with you. Um, I think that they're a great thing to have. And like I said, it's really nice to pre-plan your month without committing to writing it down. If they're not going to change, then go ahead and go for that. So I hope that you found this video helpful. There's going to be a lot of sticky note stuff coming up because I think there's a lot of people that don't know how the ways that you can use these and make them awesome. So I am so excited to share it with you. Cannot wait to show you what we got coming up next. So again, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And I cannot wait to see you on the next video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the link on the screen. Have a great day.